to have a joint bank account. So you can have a joint bank account just like you do it personally with you and someone else. Two businesses, you guys can have a joint bank account. Uh, banks are different. So again, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Check out your banks, see what options they have available for you or whatever bank you guys are going to use. But there is an option to have uh, a joint account, meaning as the funds come in from the government, it comes into the joint account. And then you guys together would disperse the funds like each company take their portion of the money. And so when you do that, sometimes you can get companies to um, front you the money, if you will, loan you the money, however you guys structure the deal. And we talk more about creating your best deal inside the Contractors Edge Bootcamp. So no worries there. But I do want to, you know, just kind of share with you uh, options of what you have available and just how it would play out. So a couple other options, call it a bonus, is you could definitely do um, funding. So you can look for some type of funding for uh, your line to get your products on the front end. There's companies that will do factoring as well. Uh, they offer that where they'll, you know, give you the money up front and you pay them on the back end. So there's options. You have options. Whatever you're going to use, do your due diligence, do your research, and just pick the option that works best for you at that time. Whatever you pick doesn't mean that you have to stick with that same method every time. One of the things I teach my students in the boot camp is we look at every opportunity individually and then we decide what's the best strategy moving forward. What is the best option for you at that particular time that will give you the best shot at winning the contract? So when you're looking at vendor credit and these various options, I want you to do the same thing. Of course, do, you know, go ahead and set them up as far as seeing what you can get, but you don't execute on it until you need it. But at least you'll know what's out there available. And then when you're looking at a contract, you can decide, okay, I'll do vendor credit on this one if that works best at time. Maybe another time, okay, I'll do factoring on this one. Or, oh, this is great for me and this company over here that we can joint venture on, partner or whatever. So you have to be able to decipher and look at each opportunity individually and see what works best for you as it relates to the contract before you and the resources you have available at that time. All right, there you have it. Ways to get, you know, uh, your products. And now, if you need help, you know, maybe you know what product you're going to offer. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But you need help with learning how to bid the contracts and maybe... You know, what we talked about here, you want to go more in depth with that. You need help. You want your uh, support as you go through this journey of getting your first few contracts done and have a roadmap that's laid out for you uh, to help you through that and be able to ask me questions about your particular contract. Check out the Contractors Edge Bootcamp over at firstbeddonefast.com. We'll put the link down below. We go all into the bidding process, how to write your proposal, solicitations, all the things you need to get your first bid done fast, okay? So check it out. And remember, you're just one contract away. Just one. One contract will change the game. If you stay consistent, let me tell you my quote. So here it is. Consistency builds momentum and momentum builds cash flow. If you stay consistent, you will get to the finish line. And if you join the Contractors Edge Bootcamp, you'll have my help to get to the finish line faster. All right? So don't forget, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and then I'll see you right back here real soon. Bye for now.